And I think it's just them too. So let's take out one of them. Jesus Christ! Well, that's it. You're done. Okay, let, let's take him from behind. <laughs> and not sexually, but also, we were just gonna assault him from behind. Perfect. Sam, we have an opportunity here. Reed stashed Vice President Samson in the ballroom with personal bodyguards. He's waiting to be introduced as the next president. That's on my route to the West Wing. Pay him a visit, then meet me in the press room. We'll figure out how to tackle him. Okay. Please, just don't shoot. So they are really ass assaulting the White House here. Okay, yeah, they are killing people from left and right. Okay, they are too far away. You have more than one castle too? Okay, so we have two guys left, so let's try to take out one of them and uh, uh, punch the other guy, so uh, we have a good... Uh, so we, I'm, I just want, as usual, I... It sounds like they are. Oh, they are three of them. Okay, yeah, let, let's thin out the herd here. Okay, so we're two of them there. Okay. Now this looks bad. Everyone hold position. The area head looks you're gonna wish you never fucked with me, asshole. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Poor guys. Oh shit, something is happening here. Let's get a move on. What the hell was Reed thinking? What happens to his special plan if I catch a stray bullet? Mr. Oh. Vice President, I can assure you everything is under control. You're perfect. Okay, let's see if we can jump on that guy. Call it lemonade. Oh man, I'm picking this up as he goes along, isn't he? Sir, Director Reed just called. He's almost Death from pressure. above. Everything's going to be shit! He's laughing when I put my boot up your ass! Okay, that was close. Okay, let's yeah. Pick shit off my shoes. It was smarter than you. You didn't run. Smart. You don't get it, do you? You can't touch me. I got protection. I'm Teflon. So whatever you think you're gonna do to me, Mister Has been, Mister Rogue Agent, Mister Washed Up Spy. We well, can forget about it right now, cause I'm bulletproof. Goddamn bulletproof, you hear? Oh, really? <laughs> Secure? Okay. Oh, oh, you shot me! Oh, you know, you oh, need to work on that whole bulletproof thing. Bitch. Oh, oh, I think they will God. assault us here. Oh 
Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh fuck, that, that was some intense uh, assault. Okay, I'm very hurt, so I'm just waiting this out. Uh, he said, I think this is everybody. I can't go to the other side. Did I get those two guys? Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm out of there. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's continue. By the time Grimm got a hold of Sam, Reed's men were kicking in the Oval Office door. She was there, and she could see that the President's protective detail was going down. The plan was for Sam to meet with Grimm in the press room where they'd figure out what the hell to do next. Of course, Grimm already had a plan, one she hadn't bothered to tell Sam about. But that shouldn't have surprised him. Some things, and some people just don't change. Well, how we are uh, getting closer to the end here. Meet Grim in the. Okay. Okay, let's uh, throw him here. Okay, yeah, that works too. Oh, I got stuff again. I don't know. Sam Fisher. I've read his file. He does stuff like that. He did stuff like that. And after we're through with him, he's not going to be doing it anymore. Say again. There we go. I don't have a fix on the target. Okay, move. Nice try, Fisher. Above it. Oh man, that was. <laughs> oh yeah, that was buggy. 
Uh, uh, there are some hilarious bugs in this game, some uh, uh, very frustrating ones also. Okay, let's... Sorry, mate, I can't help you. Okay. Oh, I think I'll, I will just... Just to be safe, because I'm playing on realistic, I will only move if uh, it's not shooting. Yeah, it hits me even when I'm uh, jumping around. Let's see if we can bypass these bosses. Hold up! Keep your eyes open for the target. Hold it! The area is compromised. Looks like an ambush. You're not. Position. Say hi to the next move. Okay, let's see if we can throw a stick, <laughs> uh, a sticky cam here. Okay, well, cool. We uh, bypass those guys. Okay. Come over here and play. Okay, I did get the the guy controlling the gun. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's... We're out of time, Sam. Where are you? I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now. Oh, it's interesting. I, th I think just because I bypassed uh, the, those third action on uh, operatives, uh, I, I don't get the salt in there because I think uh, there probably uh, was supposed to be people there. But I was stealthy enough so I could avoid them. Yeah, it seems like that. That's interesting. But let's just take it slowly and save it anyway. Yeah, it seems like that. That's a very interesting mechanic, yeah, I didn't know that actually, maybe it is like that. I know uh, when you're playing co-op uh, you have uh, some uh, backup mechanics, so if they spot you uh, more people will come and I think I've just avoided them. For whatever it's worth Sam, I am so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed. And we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double tap the president immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. <laughs> Tom? I've got Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? You comfortable? Ah, fuck. Get up. Yeah. You've got an appointment with the president. Oh well, this uh, we have seen this cutscene. Uh, we always uh, see this part. Yeah, so this is probably the end. No, you didn't, and you still don't. Uh. 
I was wondering when you were gonna get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Well, he put up a little bit of a fight. Of course he did. And now he's here, the famous Sam Fisher, just in time to be useful. So how does it feel, Sam, knowing you're gonna go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell? Fuck you, Reed. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. You don't honestly believe that this is gonna work. The surveillance camera's footage is gonna show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the Pulse fried them. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. Huh, that's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third echelon nearly died with Tom. him. You see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was gonna shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you spent so many years stopping. <laughs> Madam President, are you all right? Yes, I'm oh, fine, thank you. Son of a... Uh, that was a close You've got call. maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. Make them useful. How did Megiddo get to you? You don't want to know about Megiddo, you want to know about your daughter. Oh, yeah, sure do. I, I, we have a choice here. Yeah. We can just bash him around or we can shoot him, but... I think uh, how I have played, I played very aggressive, aggressive, so I think shooting is the only thing that see, makes sense. You still don't get it, do you? Sarah didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get to third echelon. And third echelon, that was a way to get what they wanted out of the White House. You're the mole. You're the one Lambert was worried about. Very good, Sam. You finally see. Let's shoot him again. Son of a bitch! You cost me three years of my life. Three years when I thought my daughter was dead. Move! Move! Drop your weapon on the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you don't either. Ricky, I that sold your ass. Get you out of here. Thank you. Oval Office is secure. We have the President. POTUS is safe and secure. Yeah, and, and this is... Uh, I have killed like 200 uh, guys just to get uh, this far in the game. So, why shouldn't I shoot him here? <laughs> I've talked to Sam once since he left. He told me that he and Sarah were gonna take some time to catch up. He talked about learning who was really important to you, why you always had to come back for him. He talked about family. And you know what the last thing he said to me was just before he hung up? Vicky said, Thanks for everything. I love you like a brother. Brother. That's family, right? Yeah. I thought so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was everything from Splinter Cell Commission. I had a blast playing for this game. I really enjoyed the gameplay. It's very fun, uh, and it's a fun uh, mix between uh, a strategy shooter with stealth. It's a very nice game. I, many people had criticized it uh, for uh, being a bad game compared to other Splinter Cell games, but 
I think it's a fun game. The story is not very much... Uh, I haven't been so impressed by the story. The story is not that very fun at all, actually. It really doesn't make sense, but... In a way, uh, after all, if we uh, just uh, Splinter Cell Commission as a separate game from the rest of the Splinter Series, series game, it's a fun game, and... Uh, Maybe it's a little bit uh, too easy in some parts, and uh, it, it has uh, little things. Yeah, it's not a good cover shooter. That's that have we learned by that um, hilarious, badly mission design in Iraq. But I have enjoyed this game, and if you have watched so far, uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, bye.